everyone. It's the Women of Ouija. I'm Marla Martinson. I'm Karen Dahlman. Great to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we wanted to talk about something that we saw on one of the Ouija groups, a uh, question, and people were talking about how to make your own board and will your own board work. Some people think you have to have an original Ouija and uh, in one of the videos that Karen and I did, I talked about how I don't even have a real Ouija board that says Ouija. I have five boards, but they're all like with an angel on it or different things. She and has talking boards and spirit boards. Talking boards and spirit boards, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, Karen um, and I have both, you know, on the fly, just made our own when we wanted yeah. to do something. We were out, out of town or whatever. So what, what do you do, Karen? And, and tell people how, you know, it works and how you can make your own if you don't have one. Yeah, well, uh, to start with, I have a couple behind me. I'll show you. I have a couple of homemade boards that were gifted to me. People made these. Um, Carbon Lilies made this. Hi, guys. Love hey, you. Carbon Lilies. Fabulous board. Egyptian so portal board. Cute. Look at this. This oh has God. Egyptian eye in the middle. Love this board. That is and they made amazing. this. And they, they took this wooden thing. It looks like a heart. And that's the planchette. And it points to the letters. It's wonderful. That's a that's a board that they made. It's one of a kind right here. How sweet. That was so nice. Oh, so nice. Here's another board that was sent to me by Rick Shrek. He's a wonderful tattoo artist, wow, you guys. Rick. We, we've talked about him before. He makes those Ouija shirts. Oh, right. Rick, we, and oh, here, I gotta get one of those shirts. Look at that. Oh, those wonderful shirts. That's a Ouija. I should have brought, I should have worn that Ouija shirt today. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, he makes this planchette. Look, it's a coffin, oh you guys. Oh, my God. How cute. Oh. Now, let me tell you something really cool about this coffin. It is made from the, the, the boards, the rail boards, uh -huh. from the embalming tables. That's what this is made from. How wonderful, How cool. and this works fabulously, <laughs> and it's got a Ouija on the back, too. Wow. Whoa. Check that out. <laughs> Whoa. That is oh, I know. work. Awesome, Rick. That is awesome. Is it beautiful? I love it. Um, and so you really can make boards any way you want to, and the only board I made for myself has been made out of a paper sack, so this is what I use. Trader Joe's <laughs> Satanic Sacks. Just <laughs> Okay, Trader Joe's spiritual sacks. <laughs> <laughs> and I started doing this, oh gosh, probably in the late 80s and 90s because I would be somewhere without my board. Mm -hmm. Now I have a travel board that I use all the yeah. time. And thank you to Linda Deer who creates yeah. the Universal. Hey, Linda. Board. Yeah, we both got universal that Universal channel. 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 Yeah. Linda's we love good. her too. Hi, Linda. And so I have one of her boards, which is small and round, like the size of this, and I travel with it. But if I'm somewhere... Um, I will say, do you got a paper sack or an old pizza board? And they'll say, yeah, I got that. And I say, well, let's just cut it open. Right. <laughs> and look, this is what I made. See? Woo That's what it looks like. It doesn't have to be fancy, guys, especially when you're starting. You know what? Until you know what boards you really want to buy, I suggest you make your own out of paper cardboard paper sack. Mm -hmm. And look, and you can recycle it when you're done. That's right. <laughs> So this is the other cool thing. So I, I just write out yes, no, the alphabet, the numbers. Where's the goodbye? Oh, my gosh, there's no goodbye. Well, guess what, guys? You don't have to put goodbye on there if you don't want to. But always say goodbye. But you don't have to put goodbye on there. Right. In fact, my guide stop right here, right here in the middle, underneath the letters between the numbers. And that's their way of saying goodbye. And then I, ver I verbally say goodbye. Now, what I do with this sack is I will use a Pyrex dish. Turn it over, right? Everybody has these probably in your house. And put your fingers on here, and it will move to the different letters. And you can look right through this little middle right mm -hmm. here, and that becomes your indicator. How easy yeah, is that? Yeah, and I've used a, a, a coin, or you could use anything quarter. like a button, a coin, a quarter. Uh, a actually, ball? I can now use, I use my finger because the energy is coming through since I do it on my own and I can just, it'll move my, my finger, so. Yeah, you don't need, you, yeah, you just, anything in the house you can find, you, you yeah, don't. Anything that, that slides. That quarter's great. Look at these, this is just a Tupperware kind of thing. I got it off of a, like a whipped cream, non-dairy kind of thing. Uh -huh. And you take it and you just, look, you've cut a hole in it. You can do it this side oh, or this awesome. side. Yeah, easy. It goes over it. By the way, this is the first indicator I ever made. <laughs> what? This is, I made this recently, but when I first started doing this, I'd get a lid. I'd say, do you have a plastic old lid I can use? And then people would pull it out, and then I'd do this, and I'd have, like, you can go through the letters. And this moves fabulously. You put your fingers on there. There's so many things you can use, but yes. 
Yeah. Make your own, guys. I'll tell you why. What I like about making my own is that I'm most comfortable with it. I, it's like it's it's easy. To, it's easy. You, creative. You can make it out of anything, mm -hmm. and you tend to put your own energy, your own efforts into it, which has meaning to you. Not that the paper sack is so beautiful hanging on the wall with the rest of my boards, but it, to me, it's just kind of funny because it does work. It, does it works work. just as well as these boards as my traditional Ouija board. Mm -hmm. It's not the board that works, guys. What is it, Marla? It's yeah, not the board. it's our energy. It's it's our energy. And that is such a great point. I want to mm -hmm. stress that. Let's say it again because people will also mention that. Like, do does this kind of board work? Do Ouija boards yeah. work? Do they work? They don't work. It's us. It's the energy, com the connection work. coming through that is going on these letters. All it is is an alphabet on a piece of paper, al the alphabet on a piece of wood, the alphabet on whatever piece – Whatever you're using. You guys forward this paper sack. It's neutral. Heck, I got my, my groceries in it. It's going to be recycled or using my trash can, yeah. you know? Um, and it, so Demon's it, not going to come through the Trader Joe's bag. No, it's not really satanic Trader Joe's. <laughs> we love, we love Trader Joe's. Spiritual Trader Joe's. I yes. love Trader Joe's. Listen, um, it, it's it's neutral, guys. This is a neutral paper. This is a neutral board. This is a neutral board. Even though this is a bombing uh, rail. Yeah, that's it's interesting still, Neutral. I know this is just phenom. Look, and it's neutral. I, I the would energy... really cleanse that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Actually, I always cleanse my boards when I get something new. Uh, even this, when I'm done using it, I'll cleanse it and put it back. I, I saved this because it's kind of like a momentum from years ago. Making, I made this one years ago, yeah. and so I, I wow, love it. Wow, you kept it. Funny. That's cool. That's cool. Well, yeah, I keep, I keep all these things. Of course, this, this is in my, this is in my kitchen, so I, yeah. I can't get rid of this. <laughs> You guys have fun with this. Make your board. Marla, tell them the story how you use your finger in an airport on a piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Well, my husband and I went to uh, Paris, and then we flew over to Barcelona uh, in May. It'll be two years. And I, we had a layover. The flight was delayed, and I was sitting there, and I thought, you know, oh, hey, I think I'll get some messages from Mirth. So I took, a, grabbed a piece of paper, wrote the alphabet, and sat there and, and just used my finger, and I was talking to Mirth, and my husband's sitting there like, oh, crap, I hope nobody's seeing her do this. And nobody noticed, nobody was right next to us, and, and uh, you know, maybe they thought, you know, somebody might have thought, what's she doing, who cares? People <laughs> but don't really I, pay attention to you guys, no, they, I, they I, I've learned that, they really don't. And, uh, but then again, only use it when you're comfortable, too. That's yeah. the other secret to using a homemade board, or any board, is use it when you're comfortable, and that's how the board is going. Not the board, that's how it, the energy through the board, connecting to the spirits, is going to work. Mm -hmm. It's feeling the comfort level. And I've done it on an airplane, too, and that's kind of cool, because I'm, like, up in the sky with the angels up there flying, you know? Getting Did the... you do it on an airplane? Yeah. Oh, I guess I have not done. I've done it many places, but I've not done it on an airplane yet. <laughs> Just pull out that tr that tray, you know, and put your little thing. And actually, I might. You know, I'm, I'm going to be going to Africa later this year. Maybe, I, maybe. Oh, I didn't tell you. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I will uh, do a little Ouija on the way there and talk to the animals. <laughs> That's right. Yes. No, I didn't hear about that. So we'll talk about that after. It's off, another story. Off the video. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, let us know uh, if you've made one, and if you have any questions, leave it below, and we'll answer you, and see you again in the next video. Love you. Thanks Bye, guys. For watching. Happy boarding. Happy boarding. <laughs>